As always, we have the peanut gallery <laughs> criticizing my chef work. Oh, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Baking with Jack. Today we have, it's honestly all my favorite things. You guys know how I feel about cookies. We've done a regular chocolate chip cookie recipe before, and you guys know independently how I feel about peanut butter. The baking PJs, the chef outfit is back on because today we're doing peanut butter cookies. Again, another stolen recipe from my grandma, but grandma approved it. She said it's gonna be okay. And we've of course veganized it. We've got a little vegan flax egg here. Oh, it's really, really thickened up. It's like, like an egg. Anyways, I'm super excited about this. You guys know these become my lunch. So I'm eating peanut butter cookies today. Peanut butter is just a really deep passion of mine and I'm super excited to share that this video is actually sponsored by the Peanut Bureau of Canada. I've talked about this so many times. It blows my mind that I get to work with the Peanut Bureau of Canada. The peanuts, they just, they just make all the peanut products. That's insane. I love peanuts, I love peanut butter. I eat it all the time. And really as a vegan, it is such a really great plant-based option for nutrition a good source of protein and it really just makes all of your food taste that much better it really is just such a versatile ingredient you can obviously use it in peanut butter cookie recipe aka try this out let me see your creations we can also use it in a lot of savory dishes as well so peanuts are really just the way to go you know I can really just talk about my passions for peanuts for five million minutes, but I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. I don't know if you know, but peanuts actually have the most amount of protein per gram than any other nut. Peanuts are technically a legume. Did you know that? That's a fun fact. Peanuts contain a ton of good fat. 85% of the fats in peanuts are that good fat that you're looking for. And they're also just a really good source of magnesium, fiber, vitamin E, potassium, just the ultimate food. Again, need I say more? Anyways, you know, I would get peanut, peanut butter tattooed on my body. You know what? That might have to be my first tattoo. <laughs> like I wouldn't, I'm not opposed to it. It. But I could talk for ages. Let's actually hop into the recipe. Let me walk you through what you're actually gonna need. So here is the list of ingredients. Check your pantry, stock up. So you're gonna need half a cup of plant-based butter, one cup of peanut butter. I actually like to use just like the regular peanut butter, not natural peanut butter. I normally always use natural peanut butter, but this one is the kind that has a bit of sugar in it and it's a bit sweeter. And I would recommend using that for this recipe. You're also gonna need half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, one cup of all-purpose flour, one little flax egg and it's actually super easy to make these I'll show you real quick you just do one tablespoon of flax seed mixed with two tablespoons of water and that equals one egg replacement then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of vanilla half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking soda so according to grandma this is a very easy recipe and there's no way to screw this up so for any of my beginner bakers out there put on those chef hats let's get started and let's make some cookies baby okay so we're gonna start off with half a cup of butter so I've just got some plant-based butter here here. That's about half a cup of butter, we're gonna say. Okay, butter. Then you need one cup of peanut butter. This is the key ingredient. You actually need more peanut butter than you'd think. Is this gonna... <laughs> How disgusted are you guys and me if I contaminate this? That's probably not the best idea. Oh, we got a genius here. We got an absolute genius. Um, we just had a very great suggestion off camera instead of just trying to make this fit. I'm just gonna use another spoon. Big brain energy. This just stays here, I guess. Oh, look at that peanut butter goodness. Honestly, especially in high school, I feel like that's when my extreme peanut butter love came to fruition. I used to just, if I was, you know, hungry and needed a little snack, I would just take a spoonful of peanut butter and just like lick it off and eat it like a little snack. I feel like I can't be alone in that. I feel like that's pretty, that's a normal thing. Like it's just, peanut butter's so good. I feel pretty confident saying this. I don't think there's one day that goes by that I don't have peanuts in some form. Most likely I have it in peanut butter every day, but if not, snacking on nuts, topper on a meal, in a granola bar of some sorts. If you want to see more recipes, I've done so many what I eat in a day as you can see all the delicious ways that I eat peanuts. Oh, yes <laughs> Oh, this is a messy recipe. It's like hard to get a clean grandma didn't prepare me for this just, Everything's so sticky. How would you do this better though? I didn't mean to I think, I think it just fell there as always we have the peanut gallery criticizing my chef work. Y'all know how I feel. We do interpretive measuring. If it's not a messy workstation, then you're not doing it right. That's good. I think that's a pretty clean. Oh, I'm standing with like the most hunchback right now. My dream in life is to get a kitchen island or just to have a kitchen island. I feel like that will really improve my life. Please stick with me on my journey. One day we'll get there. Okay. There's just so much left over. 
You know, it's really moments like this where I go, oh, the peanut beer of Canada did pick the right, the right mascot. <laughs> Me. Okay, next up we got half a cup of white sugar. Mm. <sighs> perfect. I would say that was perfect. You want to know why I think I love baking so much? Well, one, obviously I'm passionate about food in general and like eating good quality and good food. But also I just love the act of assembling and like making things and there's like an end result that you're like, ah, this is all my work. It's this thing. It's just like a very fulfilling sense of completion. We're also going to do half a cup of brown sugar. Mm. I love the smell of brown sugar. Oh, we got a bowl. Oh, was this probably a packed cup of, yeah. Just going to pack that down. It's like I have a ghost chef. Like instead of a ghost writer, it's like a ghost chef that actually tells me how to do things properly. It's my mother. She's got years of baking expertise, guys. I'm trying to become only as good as a chef as she is. Okay, so it's supposed to be a half cup of pack, so I'm gonna say that's about probably the right amount. I also find brown sugar gives like a really nice like depth of like caramelization and I just love that energy. Okay, so now we're just gonna mix them together. If you had an electric mixer and you wanted to like properly cream it, you definitely could. But um, here at Jacqueline's Kitchen, we do it up by hand. Getting those muscle gains. Oh, this is good. Oh, this smells unreal already. Scoop down your sides, people. Okay, that's looking pretty good. There's a few chunks, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Okay, flax egg. We got one flax egg here. So I just made this about 10 minutes before we started filming. So you only need to let it sit for five to 10 to get it ready. It just kind of thickens up. Okay, half a teaspoon of salt. And this is, again, the interpretive baking. I'm gonna say that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. But like, see, you actually don't under, you're laughing off camera, but really what I did, I saw about half a t half of the container fell out, but then half of it fell in, so that really was one full half teaspoon. Yeah. Then we've got some baking soda here, and then a little bit of vanilla. See how easy this is? This comes together real quick. Okay. Just gonna give this a little mix, then we're gonna add in the flour, and then we are ready to make it into little cookie dough balls. So I'm gonna add the flour in slowly. So it calls for one cup of flour, but I've just put in a half a cup right now and I'm gonna mix together, see how much I need. Obviously it's much easier to add more than to put too much flour in. So this is still under one cup of flour, just so you know. Okay, I ended up putting in a little more than a cup, but again, do this at your own discretion. It depends how melty your butter is, all that stuff. Um, this is looking pretty good. You want it to be able to be able to roll into a ball comfortably without kind of sticking to your hands, but not too dry that it's gonna crumble and kind of fall apart. So I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, we're gonna roll it onto a baking sheet. Oh, I didn't even flag. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. That way it's good to go. So I've got some baking sheets here. I don't know how many this is gonna make. I'm gonna start with the big one. So roll up your sleeve, chef. Okay, so I like to make kind of like ping pong size cookie dough balls. Roll them with your hands like that. Also, chefy tip, try to make these as consistent as possible just so that way they cook all at the same rate. Okay, wait, I need to, this is just, it looks like the filling of the inside of like a candy bar. It's so good. It's like butter, peanut butter, and sugar. Like it's gonna taste amazing. But again, the benefit of this being plant-based, there's no raw egg in it, so no need to feel guilty. Now, obviously I always encourage you when you're trying out the Baking with Jack recipes to tag me on Instagram and your creations. I have a feeling these ones are gonna be recreated a lot. And the record, I actually timed it last time. So the last time I posted the video and it was live for an hour and maybe 15 minutes and someone had already made the recipe. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna challenge you. If you guys make it even quicker, you're gonna have to be watching this and making this at the same time. Gold star goes to whoever makes these peanut butter cookies first and tags me on Instagram. I'm always reposting your creations, which often end up looking much better than mine, I must say. Okay, so we ended up getting eight on that tray. They always say, Ya he. They never say he ya. Uh. That wasn't it. They always say yee ha. They never say ha ye. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. I don't think I said it right the first time. This is making way more than I thought it was gonna make. I'm on my third sheet of cookies now. Okay, the bowl is empty. The spoon has been licked. Really? <laughs> Sorry, I was just like choking. You know when you like inhale at the. It wasn't the cookie's fault. My hands are dirty. Just give me a second. Okay, I think we are good to go into the oven. I'm gonna pop two sheets on. I can't bake all of them at the same time, but put them in for about 10 to 12 minutes until they look a bit golden. 
Oh, I forgot a big step. Thank you, go chef. Okay, now comes the most important step that I almost forgot. You wanna put little fork marks in it. I don't know if it's just because it's the aesthetic of what peanut butter cookies look like, or if it's to actually like expand them properly. There's gotta be a science to it. I'm getting signals off camera to flatten the cookie. That's the science. Thank you, go chef. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a fork. You can put a bit of um, flour on it if you want, if it's sticking. We're gonna see if these stick or not. So I like to do a little You could do little patterns if you want, but I just, I'm a simple gal. I just like a straight across, like a beaver tail kind of pattern. Oh, these are looking so cute. Oh, these are adorable. I love them. Okay, these are looking nice and fork pressed. Okay, these are going in the oven about 10 to 12 minutes until they get golden. Hey Google, set a timer for nine minutes. I always do a minute less just to make sure. I'm so, these are gonna go into the oven. Okay, I'll be back in like 10 minutes and fingers crossed these look good. Oh, these are done. Look at how perfect these look. Okay, final batch is going in. Oh, these are looking golden, baby. Oh, these might be the best ones now. You got so many cookies, I made so many. This might be our best work. I do say that every week, but these look gorgeous, let me show you. Look at how good these look. Okay, the most important part we know is the sampling. They all look so pretty. This one. Oh, these are so moist. I know everyone hates that word, but they are. So peanut buttery. These are good. Thought we could have a nice little intimate moment here. So easy. And these taste so high quality. I would pay good money at a restaurant to eat this cookie for dessert. Oh, this is a problem now that I have like eight trays of cookies behind me. Go chef. We did some something good today. It's the middle. The middle is like extra peanut butter. That's the hack. That's the trick. They're not, because in my head, sometimes when you think of a peanut butter cookie, you think of a dry cookie. That's not this at all. It's a creamy. I don't know if you can see the actual middle. It's such a creamy cookie. It's not like crumbly in the middle. Oh my God. This is so good. We have done it again. Well, I'm still uh, a little speechless. That was a success. This was such an incredible recipe. Huge thanks again to the Peanut Bureau of Canada for inspiring these peanut butter cookies. Y'all don't need to ask me twice to put peanuts in anything. Please try out this recipe. Let me know what you think. Tag me in them at my Instagram, at Jack Forbes. Show me what you create. This is unmatched. This is something great. And I think you all are gonna love it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all very soon. Subscribe, follow, watch more Bake with Jacks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.